everybody, it's Nim and welcome back to the Creek Zoo. I don't know if you can hear it, but I have a cold. Um, you know, it's hay fever season. I live very close to fields. It sucks. I can't even open a window without everything coming in. So enjoy my voice for the rest of this uh, video. I'm very sorry. <laughs> Anyways, uh, last episode we built these, uh, well, this amazing children playground. If I say so myself, I really like the way that it looks. I added some underwater plants here just to give it a little bit more of dimension when you're standing here. And I think that's all I did to it basically. <laughs> and then we here we have our horses. There are horses that are uh, with child or pregnant. And they're due next year. This one is due in a few months. So yeah. Oh, and this one is about to have offspring right now. So let's uh, let's check that out because I want to see this little child. Get already. Oh, it's a girl pony. That's nice. If you could just, you know, arrive here now, that'd be great. <gasps> Look, there it is. So cute. Let's check out his stats. Ooh, those are really good stats. 100, 100. That's nice. That's so cute. Look at her being all happy and all. I just... Look. She is so happy. So cute. There, with her mom. Nice. I like this. Now, I wonder if that would make them the top notch. Oh, no, still the seal. And the frock, yes, of course. Um, I'm kind of hoping that it would make my horses more popular, but oh well. We are uh, continuing with our little petting zoo. Uh, I'm thinking that um, since we already have, let's just push us on play, where are we? Like, I have a doll sheep in here. Okay, I didn't want that. Uh, I have a doll sheep in here, so I thought, what if I would buy some more doll sheeps? And um, we'll go from there. Like, reset that. Let's go doll sheep. I like this one. Are there any cheap males? There aren't. Well, then I'll buy you. I'll buy you. I didn't check how many there could be in like one um, area, but that's fine. Oh, it's so expensive, man. Let's just check before I buy way too much. Oh, 40. That's fine. So um, what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off with our null barriers. And I wanna build, like, I want the path to go under and then the habitat to go over the path. That's the general idea. Uh, we're gonna see how that works out though. First we're going to connect this with this and I'm gonna make a connection here as well. Just along this side. There. No, obviously it doesn't need to be an extremely large habitat. So we're just gonna put it like this for now. And then we're gonna see. Um, I want to... Let me just first continue the path. That might be good and wise. Let's make the path actually a little bit wider here. So I want the path to kind of go like this. That's like the initial thought. Let's just paint this so I can actually see where the path is. I don't know what that was. It was a sound effect. So enjoy the sound effects. <laughs> I don't know why. And I kind of want to force them to uh, really have to go over. So... And I like this. I really want to force them to do that. So I don't want them to go underneath. I don't really want them to go over there. I said it like five times, so you know, y'all know what I mean now. Uh, let's see, can I... Would this work? This would not. Yeah, I can try. Yeah, 
It does not work. Let's undo this quickly. <laughs> um, and figure something else out then. So I'll just place one here. That's fine as well. Oh, oops, oops. There, just like that. That's fine as well. Yeah, should be fine. So, okay, let's go to our... Ooh, I'm losing money on something. That's not good. Sense to zoo. Now, I do have a, a staff area right here now, so that's pretty cool. That's a good facility broken down. That's not good. Get a mechanic. Oh, he's already there. That's nice. And then we have some vet research and horses. Do we have? That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> there. Uh, let's just check out what they actually need while they're bringing them here. Uh, well, 400. So they're with four now or five. 600. Let's see how much they have. Way too much. Oh my god, it's so, so freaking much. I could make this a lot smaller, but then again, I'm gonna build like a big stable here and some rock formation, so probably should be fine. That's like my downfall. I don't know if anyone else is doing that. I, I make my habitats way, way, way too big because I can't just build small habitats. Like, that's not in me. I physically can't do that. Um. One male. 39 females, I mean, that's pretty cool. Oh, one of my horses is pregnant. Can't be with other ones, but it's fine. Oops. Just need to figure out how I'm gonna do this. Let's start with um, actually filtering the biome. Uh, there we go. I'm gonna go into... Sort of. What if I were to do it like that? I could just. I mean, they should be able to walk over this, shouldn't they? See, I have no clue, so we're just gonna see. Obviously, we're not gonna leave it this empty, we're gonna nicing it up with a lot of other stuff. But let's just see if they can walk over it first before I start doing all this excessive stuff that would be useless in the end. And it's getting dark again. Oh well. Look at them running. All three of them. Poof. Throw it out. Cool. Pause the game. H. Habitat. They can walk over here. Nice. Not too steep. Okay, now I'm gonna keep the game pulse because I'm actually gonna build first. So we're going back into our nature and now we are also gonna do some terrain work. I'm just nicing it up a little bit, making a little bit deeper here as well, perhaps for a little bit of a puddle. There, a little bit like that. Just to make it nice. Obviously, there's already a lot of terrain work there, so let's have a little bit of a puddle here. That's fine. Actually, no. Can I just... No, oh, there's no level in between. Well, I guess this is fine then. Um... And let's go back to our rocks. I want them to align to the surface, just to make them a little bit more random feeling and as you see like the temperate and the taiga rocks really match well together but that's quite nice there i always like to pride myself with rock work i think that i that's one of my strong features obviously i wouldn't know for sure but i like to think that it is stuff like this it's just nice it's a little bit like this that's completely fine 
And then where is our big one? There. Because I kind of want to do... I know, we'll make one come out of here like this. But then here on the top we would need a flat one. And then that way they'd be able to walk over and under, I guess. Not sure, we'll see, we'll see. And obviously uh, this bit, we're gonna need to reuse that as well to make sure the entire theme is nice and cozy. Just like that. That's pretty cool. No question, can they still walk over here? I can, look how cute. Now, yeah, they can walk out pretty much everywhere. Um, and look, this little barrier isn't going to stop them. So perhaps... Let's look at our barriers, what do we have? have what's this never seen this well learn something new every day no i was thinking we could have like uh the chain link fence and if we just lower it because they only need like a meter all right except for there yeah it's like, why can't you? No, well, this is annoying, isn't it? Well, then we're gonna do it bit for bit. See, this is stuff that I should have figured out before, but I didn't. And that is what you get. Okay, so this is all too close to the path then. Well, we'll just move it a little bit back. And now, they can! Hurrah! I wouldn't need a fence here, probably, but I'll just do it to be sure. It's a fine. And then this, this. I could probably add like a visitor's gate in here. What if I just, no wait, that needs to be removed. And if I can just, Delete this as well. I can add a right there and just Well, I've, I've messed it up somehow. I don't know what I was doing. Just like that. This is some really intricate um, ways. Just... Yeah. And obviously I would be needing to do the same thing here. Okay, 
So like this, then we have a walkthrough habitat where they can't escape from, if I'm correct. Okay. Can you still escape? You can still escape. You can escape here. Why can you escape here? Because this is not high enough. Okay. It's a simple fix, really. Just, can you escape now? You can't here, you can here. Okay, so what is here? Here is... No barrier, barrier needs to be a little bit higher. There, that should you stop escaping from everywhere. Right, let's just see. It does, that's nice. Uh, they have a lot of terrain, that's like really cool. Okay, now. My animal isn't... Where is my animal go? What's wrong with your welfare? Yeah, I get it, I get it, I get it. The temperature is too hot. Well, let me just fix that first before I get protesters, because I already know I'm gonna get them. Um, coolers. I will cool everything. Every single place will have a cooler. This will be lovely and chilling. Uh, what is actually your ideal temperature? See, I should have taken notice of that. Uh, minus 12 to 16. Well, I mean, then lovely 10 degrees, be cool, right? Should be completely fine. Oh, I thought they were drowning, but they're just, you know, in there. That's fine then. There. They're all in good welfare now. Now, let's see. Construction. Actually. Let's see what they offer as shelter, so I'm really quite curious to be honest. Yeah, this is... I used it when I built my first ever habitat, so I'm never using that again. Do they have something that counts as hard shelter? They do, well that's nice. Perhaps I should make like a little bit of a, of a rock ledge here, that could be cool. Uh, sort of like this. And I can place some other stuff underneath there, like the the bedding. Uh, just like this. I'll go around our trees here. Oh, place no. a pillar. just like that and then we'll go to our bedding and we'll place the large bedding here <laughs> there they have two sides where they can sleep now that's pretty cool I have no clue whether this is actually as cool as I think it is, or if it's just awful. But you know, um, let me know in the comments, because I have absolutely no clue whether this is cute or not. Because, to be honest, uh, I have a cold, um, plus I'm kind of hungover, and that also doesn't really work. 
Anyways, and ooh, fun fact, or actually, well, I'm not sure if it's fun, but uh, coming two weeks there will be no videos because I'm actually going on holiday, and I don't think I have time to pre-record anything. Even the fact that I also have to uh, close the school year with my students, and I'm not sure I can do everything at once. So probably no video for the coming two weeks. After that, I'll be back, of course. I'll see if I, I mean, I do have a, do I have a lot of videos? I'm not sure. We'll see, if I'm not, if I'm not there, I'm on holiday, and if I am there, I'm, I'm still on holiday, I've just pre-recorded some, some stuff. <laughs> you know, I live in an apartment, right? And I, well, like, the more that I live here, the sorry I feel I don't have a garden with, like, a tiny little pond, that'd be so cool. Even though I couldn't have lilies on there because cats, um, well not allergic, but lilies can kill cats. So that probably wouldn't be such a good idea. But I would love to have like a pond, but you know, I have a balcony, so that's not gonna happen. This is really nice actually with these cypress trees. <laughs> there. Actually, I didn't check. Can guests actually walk in their habitat? Guests can't. I'm such an idiot. I really, really am. There is basically no use for me to do this. I just, I'm, I'm stupid. I really am. This should be a null barrier. Same as this, and the path should just such an idiot like how did I not notice I completely disregarded my own idea this is just wanted to do before I start rambling I wanted to build a glass wall and this is gridded and there's normal square pieces that aren't gridded oh, these are I'll use these And what I'll do, uh, to make it a little more interesting, I'll uh, add columns to it. And there. And then I'll group this into a group. Oops. I mean, this is pretty dope, right? At least I think it is. There. 
exactly underneath, perfect. Yeah. There as well, exactly underneath. Perfect. Now this one can just kindly move here. And if I'm correct, they won't be able to actually move over anymore. How come? Something happens here. What happened? The only thing that is this, if I lower this a little bit and perhaps move this one here, will you be able to move over? No, you still aren't. Hmm. What if I move this a tiny bit? Will you be able to move over? You are. And you are, see that's good, that's what we need. Okay, so no touchy touchy that, that's a lesson I've learned now. Um, habitat, enrichment items. Keepers should be able to still move there, that's probably, yeah. Um, And food and water, obviously. Now let's put the food actually here, and the water and here on this side. Can you still move over? I'm so anxious for them to actually. Oh look, 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 look! Yeah, cute. Now I'm sure the keeper can just, you know, move over. That should be completely fine. And I place everything that they need. Nice. I will place one more of these though, like here, and perhaps one here, just so they have a little bit of variation in where they would like to be. Now let's go to our nature. They are of course taiga animals. <coughs> I'm sorry. Now recently since I built a playground I've completely been obsessed with these fig trees. Unfortunately, I, oh, can run. I don't think I will be able to use it in here. Perhaps I can just integrate it a little bit. Because they're so lovely and bushy, I really like it. Just like that, like not too much, just a little bit. Just like that. I feel like that's really nice. Same goes for these, like you don't want to overdo it. Let's see how they actually are with the... Oh, they're good with everything, that's nice. Well, um... Need to nicen this up a little bit. I think I should give them some more rock formations. It's weird though, like... Um... The doll, not the doll sheep, I believe it is the lynx. Or the apex, apex. It's not. What is that animal called? Like from the European pack. Is this why? It's not. Oh, this is so annoying. Like, there's no, there's an animal named like that. And you're just like, yes, it's the one that walked. On rocks is from the European pack, and then you just cannot find it ever again. And I could swear it was an apex or apex apex, could be apex. No, apex is something else. Ah, so annoying. 
Ebex, that was the word that I was looking for. I was close, okay, I was close. Ebex, like they have... Uh, they had like... They had rocks. And that was like an animal where an enrichment item for that was rocks. I probably don't have that unlocked. Never mind, that's probably it. Well, ugh. <laughs> Let's uh, research the doll sheep, please. And we can add a little bit more rocks in here, just, you know. Just little ones like that. Let's align the surface. Just... Like that. You know, they need rocks, so that's completely fine. Rocks are amazing after all. And I am talking nonsense. Just... I feel like what should work is perhaps a little bit more soil here. Or some sand. There. Yeah, that makes it a little bit better. I add some quite green grass in there. Same goes for here. Add some soil. A little bit of sand and then a little bit of green. See, this looks better. Way, way better. Okay, now let's grab one of these donation bins. And let's uh, get people to donate. Give me money. Please. I need. <laughs> also, I don't have a donation box here. And um, no. Facilities. Favorite ones. I guess, you know, we all have our favorites. I could, you know. Or the... Ooh, no, never mind. Uh, I'll just do it like this. I hope I have power here. I didn't actually pay attention to that. Probably have. This would be awkward if I didn't. Ah, Very long name horses having offspring. Oh look, I do have power. That's good. I was worried for a moment. I'm not sure if you guys can hear them, but I can hear like the little hoofs on the on the stone. Look, you listen. It's so cute. I really like it. Ah, we have more horses. I love horses. I used to want to uh, always know horseback riding as a kid, but it was really, really expensive, unfortunately. But in the end, um, not sorry that I didn't do it. Rode a horse once, fell off it, so they aren't really my type of animals. <laughs> Love seeing them and don't like riding them. There. And uh, let's add another AT. And uh, no, wait, we have an ATM there, so we don't need one. There. This is, looks really cool, actually. I like it. There. Lovely screenshot. I feel like uh, this is a good uh, place to end our episode. And I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you have, make sure to uh, leave a like, a comment and uh, possibly subscribe to the channel. We are on the road to 400 subscribers, which I'm really happy about. And, uh, you know, leave a comment, tell me what you guys think of it and what we should build next. And I will hope to see you on the next episode. <laughs> Bye, guys.